you die, everything goes black, then you hear a voice, so, you're back. What did you learn this time? Am I being detained? You have been detained, await your sentence at the end of time. Do I take a number then or? Will someone call my name? I learned that the earth is a machine that creates suffering. And the only thing good in it is we who are alive. To have a system that, from the very foundation, forces beings to kill one another to merely survive, is monstrous. This is not acceptable. This is not worth anything we might learn from it, any more than beating a child to teach them a lesson. Cool cool, so uh, like one star, feeling you bro. Let's see what's in the next box. I've been dead, three times. Don't remember any voices, any bright lights, no pearly gates, nothing. I just woke up panicked and barfing into a intubation tube. That apostrophe s dot 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 not comforting. My dad drowned, clinically dead and brought back. He said he couldn't see anything. He did however hear people talking, but it sounded like it was in a different room. He said he felt very relaxed if that brings you any comfort. Truth of the matter we don't know what really happens so we got to make the most of the life you have. I mean, it could be everyone experiences everything differently, life experience, perspective, beliefs and all that. I drowned when I was younger. I just remember going under, and near the point I lost consciousness, kinda being serene thinking I had a good run, can't complain. Nothing fancy, nothing spiritual, no lights. Maybe I don't get to go to the gates or something, who knows. <laughs> don't have sex in your garage with the car on. Gasping Mike and the boys. We're gonna have sex in your car IT will happen again. Thanks for the F shack. Put in some D's in some A's. Also don't try to eat your girlfriend's ass through a table in a garage your roommate parks his car in. Everyone knows you turn the car off before having sex with it. Right. Don't have sex with your car while the garage is turned on. Did you know that modern cars have fixed that problem of suicide by car in garage with the catalytic converter? I would demand a formal apology. Sorry for the inconvenience. Now do it in flaming letters 10 stories tall. Thanks for all the fish though. I think I feel good about it. In the beginning the universe was created. This has made a lot of people very angry and been widely regarded as a bad move. I don't know. If you end up on some deity's couch after life, it's a complete possibility at that point. You are very right, Douglas. You better be. I want to speak to the manager. No one is in charge. It's all you. Is this, the egg? Sir, this is a Wendy's. Fuck. I state my regret. Now sign here. I would imagine the scenario described here to mean that each one of us is some aspect of our own creator wanting to have an experience unbiased by knowing as much about the nature of reality as a creator would necessarily have. Bored gods taking a ride. In that case, there's no one that owes you an apology but you. Should have done the tutorial. What if this is the tutorial? Kids run around screaming because it's the equivalent of button mashing to see how the controls work. And on difficult mode, no less. Yeah the PvP here is brutal. You just need to find easier players to fight. Have you tried spawn camping? The new players are noisy but super weak. At all they have no loot but a little meat. Nah man you should just grab the new player and run. You would get 150 XP every minute. And at the end you can give back the new player for a reward. Of course it depends on how long you choose to keep it. Fucking escort missions. I can't even. If by that you mean forcefully escorting, then I agree. I've been dead, three times. Don't remember any voices, any bright lights, no pearly gates, nothing. I just woke up panicked and barfing into a intubation tube. I hear the pep training sim is a long and tedious grind. 18 years in game. Giving it back is a better strat. Yay. Especially because they actual have free will so they can easily run away. 
I heard there's also a secret achievement called pedophilia. And an even more secret spell called spell check. This is an EA simulation though. The tutorial is an in-app purchase. And I'm pretty sure Bethesda designed my life for sure. A lot of promise but it is still a half mess. Also I was fed a lot of sweet little lies. Can't be. I haven't looted everything that isn't bolted down, only to throw it in a single trunk. I tried paying my bar tab with a load of bottle caps that I've gathered off the street, bartender was not happy. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that I learn from my mistakes. Bold of you to assume that I learn at all. Bold of you to assume. Bold. B. O. Goodbye. We always end up here don't we? Only now do I realize this was the running joke on Doctor Sleep. What? In that movie the villain always says hello there multiple times. The guy playing Kanobi is the main character. I'm bald. I'm sorry for your loss. General Kanobi. Bald. A Kanobi. Well well well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. You're bold. General Miss Quoty. This question does not assume you should have improved from before. You might have learned to not leave your fly down. Your fly is down by the way. General Kenobi, you are a bold one. Bold of you to assume I'm not the mistake. Your profile picture looks like Thomas the Tank Engine wants to molest my inner child. Bold of you to assume that I can remember my prev. Life's mistakes and compare them to the current one, one that you who wiped my brain in the first place? Buddhist probably. Bold of you to assume it was a mistake. Assume my ass is bold. I should have invested in Bitcoin when it was $10 a piece. Fun fact, investing in Apple at the same price would have, after all the splits, make you substantially richer. When did Apple get big? I think I was 7 when Bitcoin started up. Depends what you mean by big. They've been big longer than you've been alive, but they hit a new level with the iPod, and later the iPhone. They were Macintosh at first, correct? I mean after they became Apple. Edit, and by big I mean when it became a household name. No, they were always Apple. The Apple II and DE came out before the Macintosh which was just the product name, not the name of the company. I'm a little disappointed they didn't name each model of computer after a different kind of Apple. Me too. I'm also sad Android discontinued their dessert names. Yeah but then again Google stole the Nexus thing from Blade Runner so. I'm still using KitKat. What is it at now? Last I heard was Oreo I think, or Pi. You mean when I first read about it at a tenth of a cent or less? Yeah. If I'd put 20 bucks in at a tenth of a cent, and cashed out at $20,000, I'd have $400 millimeters. You'd had cashed out at $5, and if not then, $10, $20, etc. The point is that you already know what the price will end up being probably would have cashed out like 20% at 1, 20% at 10, etc. Still would have been a fair amount of cash. There used to be a website, in the very early days of Bitcoin, where you could sign up to get one free Bitcoin per day. I think you had to actually log in and claim it each day, but still. It was a mining website and was trying to get people on board with crypto, so they just started giving it away for free. I have a friend that told me just the other day that there was a pizza parlor somewhere that had some gay, a Bitcoin investor, pay for a slice of pizza with, I think, a few hundred BTC since they weren't worth much at the time. Apparently they cashed out when Bitcoin value skyrocketed and never did pizza again. That story has changed a bit over time. Here's the true version. Laszlo Hange made the first real-world transaction by buying two pizzas in Jacksonville, Florida for 10,000 BTC. Ugh. First time I bought them they were $5. I bought 120 worth. And then I bought Molly on the Silk Road. If only I had known. That is a fat F. 
A pandemic happens on 2020, everyone has to stay in their homes for a month or so, maybe more. Do yourself a favor and buy some Netflix stocks. No, Netflix stocks won't offer nearly as good of a return as oil company stocks will at this period in time. So long as you don't pick one of the several dozen oil companies that'll go out of business in the upcoming months. That's around the time when I sold all of mine. Made a relatively good profit of around $150, so I can't really complain. I remember when Bitcoin was fucking pennies and you could still mine them with the CPU. If I had just set up my PC to mine Bitcoin at the start, and I was fully aware of it back then, I would be a multi-millionaire. Instead, I was folding at home site. People don't seem to remember how shitty it was to convert BTC to actual money. The amount of places that closed down, scammed, stole or blocked you from converting made it a real risky place to put your money. Or I should have built a Bitcoin miner at the very beginning. Much better return on investment. I had no idea what cryptocurrency was, nor that you could mine it, at the time BTC was invented since I was only about 7 years old but only had a laptop to play some old Scooby Doo game and Chicken Invaders. I only heard about it a few years later. Back in 2013 I had the chance to buy 10 BTC for 1000 US dollars. I said no cuz all it was used for is drugs and child porn. Damn, feels bad. Took the words right out of my mouth. I did, but sold them when they were $100 each. How many did you buy? 11 at $9 each. Not bad, a $1,001 return, but I can't blame you for wanting to cash out from excitement. Yeah I'm not complaining, but like a few years later they were going for 13 k This is the biggest regret of a lot of people. You may yet have that opportunity. I don't think Bitcoin will ever be that cheap again, but only time will tell. If I hadn't bought so much fucking dang weed and high purity MDMA I'd have been loaded by now. Oh well, at least I had a good time. Yeah, you could have been literally rolling in weed right about now. Don't measure the worth by the depth of the hardship. This may be one of the most insightful statements I have ever read. Got me really deep, had some good depth to it. Make sure not to measure its worth by that though.